Hey YouTube, I'm Jess. Welcome to a new video. If you guys are new here, welcome. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I am a freelance makeup artist from Toronto, Canada. Today's video is gonna be a fun one. It's gonna be in kind of two parts. So the first part of the video is gonna be an unboxing. I did a really big order of some new goodies for my kit. So we're gonna unbox everything and I'll show you everything that I picked up. And one of the things that I did actually purchase is a new kit bag. So I'm gonna be taking everything out of my old kit and reorganizing it into the new one. I did order the Relevel large makeup artist bag. It is the backpack version, so it has straps that come out of the back here and you can carry it on your back. So if you guys haven't seen my current kit setup, I'm gonna leave a link to it up on the top here. You can click and go see that. But basically right now my kit consists of this tiny little Rimowa bag and everything else that doesn't fit in there, I carry in this backpack with me. So this is kind of the main kit that I take with me everywhere that I go. And what I'm hoping to do is actually change everything up a little bit. I've got my new Rillavel bag that actually works as a backpack and that's gonna replace this guy right here, which was something I had to carry in my hand. And then I did order this guy from Rillavel as well. So this is a tall storage bag right here. I'm also gonna have everything linked in the description box down below if anybody wants to go and check these things out on the websites, but this is a nice, tall clear bag so i'm hoping to put some taller items in here like my brushes my alcohol things like that that are gonna be too tall to fit in this guy i want to put in this guy and this has a long strap that hangs over the shoulder so i'm gonna hopefully be carrying these two bags with me to all of my jobs going forward as well as what's in this box right here so let's open this guy up next So I've been freelancing for a few years now and something that I've always wanted to buy is a light. Something to use when I'm in a dark hotel room or I'm starting a job in the morning before the sun comes up or I'm working on someone in the afternoon in the winter time after the sun's already gone down. Good lighting is so important. It's also really important for taking good pictures and the ability to take good pictures of your work is huge. I cannot understate that enough. The way that everyone is booking their beauty services, really booking anything, restaurants, like literally anything is through Instagram. The way that people are viewing portfolios now is not as a portfolio on your website, but as a portfolio of your Instagram. And it's so important to be able to get good photos of your work. And the main component of that is good lighting. So I am often in situations where I do a makeup that I'm really proud of, but I'm unable to get a good photo of my work because the lighting in the situation is just not good for taking photos. So last year I tried to purchase the makeup light, which is like top of the line light for someone like me. And my order was canceled and never went through and I didn't end up buying that light. It's very expensive and when it didn't happen, like when the company that I was trying to order from canceled the order, I kind of got cold feet and didn't end up buying it. So this year I got a recommendation from somebody that I work with about a light on Amazon and I'm gonna have it linked in the description box down below, but it actually comes with two separate lights. I'm hoping to either use one at home in my filming setup for my YouTube videos, or I'll sell the other one. This is a light from Newer, and it comes with a light stand. I think I have a bag for this, actually. I'm gonna have to go through all my stuff. I have so much lighting. I've bought so many different lights and tripods and things over the years for YouTube, so hopefully I have a bag that I can carry that in. And then it comes with this guy right here, a little carrying case, which is super convenient. And inside of here is the new light. 
So this is really nice and lightweight. It does have the option to use batteries. It doesn't come with the batteries though. So I'm gonna see how it goes just using it with the electrical outlet plug. If I'm finding myself in situations where I feel like I am wishing that I didn't have to be close to an outlet, then I might invest in the batteries for this. And so my goal with all of this was to be able to still have a free hand. So when I had this and the backpack, then I would have this in one hand, the light in the other hand, and my backpack on my back, and I didn't like the idea of not having a free hand. So the goal for how I'm changing everything over here is to have the new bag in my backpack, this bag that hangs over my shoulder, the light in one hand, and then my other hand is free for coffee, or opening doors, or ringing doorbells, or any of the above such things. So we are entering a wedding season. Things are about to get crazy and fun. I'm so excited. But I did need to pick up a few restocks for things in my kit and some new products as well. So the first thing that I did get, I actually picked this up in the Sephora sale. This is the KVD Beauty Shade and Light Contour Palette. So I've used this, I think, three times since I've bought it now, and I am so happy with it. The powder's going so smooth, and I wasn't sure if I was gonna use the highlight powders in the top row as much as the contour powders, but I'm actually finding that I'm using the highlight powders so much. They're so great for carving out contour and just cleaning things up if they get a little bit messy. They're also really brightening, so I was able to use one to brighten up someone's under eye when I felt like the concealer wasn't doing the most so i've been super happy with this palette so far i also did an order from charlotte tilbury so a majority of the makeup that i use in my kit is from charlotte so i wanted to restock on a few things and i did pick up something new as well so in terms of items that i restocked on i picked up three of the light wonder foundations so light wonder is a light coverage foundation with a dewy finish and I heard from an inside source at the brand that they are actually going to be discontinuing Light Wonder. So I'm not actually out of any of the shades in my kit right now, but I'm running low on a few of them and I wanted to pick up backups for them just to make sure that I could get them before they are discontinued. So I have this in shade three, two, and five. I also grabbed a Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Top Lipstick. This is my most used lipstick, especially during bridal season. It's a year lips but better, works on so many different skin tones and ages. It's matte, so it's a little bit more long wearing. And I go through probably one of these every single year. So I did need another one of these, so I stocked up on that. I also got a Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in the color Champagne. I completely used up my last one, so I needed a restock. I actually had to break into this for a job that I had yesterday already, so this little box is empty. I love the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize, so I needed one of those. And then this is the new product that I picked up. So I've been using Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray for as long as I've been doing makeup. I've been using it on myself, on my clients for years and years and years. But the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting spray has become such a cult favorite such a cult classic that I just felt like I really needed to try it um, it's alcohol free which the urban decay one is not which is better for clients with sensitive skin so I definitely wanted to give this a go and see how I like it I did buy it in the travel size just because I'm just testing it out and I want to see how it goes, but also because if I do decide that I want to switch from the Urban Decay one to the Charlotte Tilbury one, then I have a travel size one and I can buy the full sizes and pour them into the travel size so that it's a little bit lighter and easy to carry around in my kit. And then I did have to place an order on Sephora as well, post Sephora sale, which was annoying, um, because I use the Charlotte Tilbury eyebrow pencils in my kit and she sells two different kinds of eyebrow pencils on her website and they're both refillable. And I know 100% for certain that I bought refills on her website for my brow pencils before, but when I went on there, they were only showing up for the brow cheat pencils, not the brow lift pencils. So I spoke to someone in the little like chat on the website and they said that you can only get the refills for the brow lift in store. So I did a little bit of searching and I did actually find them at Sephora. It's frustrating because then I'm not getting a discount on them like I would on the Charlotte Tilbury website. Plus it was only like one or two days after the Sephora sale. So I was a little bit annoyed by that, but it is cheaper and more environmentally friendly than buying a whole new pencil. So I did pick up two refills for my Charlotte Tilbury brow pencils. I got one in natural brown and light blonde. 
And then next up, another company was having a big sale. This company, I think, is one of those companies that literally always has a different sale going on on their website. But I was in need of some new brushes for blending out concealer under the eye. The brushes that I was using before started to fall apart, so I got rid of those at the end of last season and I needed some new ones for this season. Last year I purchased from Ruffer brushes for the first time and I absolutely fell in love with their brushes. I got all eyeshadow blending brushes and they're so good for blending out product. Literally they blend stuff out so quickly, so easily. I'm obsessed with them. So I came back to them for the concealer brushes and I do have two separate sets of brushes. So I got two of this brush, one for each set. So this is the Ruffer 36. And they had it listed on there for concealer. It has a nice little angle on it, so I feel like it's gonna be perfect for blending out concealer under the eye. So I'm really excited about that. And then when I was on there, I noticed that they had a new product on their website, which is a makeup sponge. So you guys know I love the Beauty Blender. I've tried many different sponges, but always go back to it because I just feel like it's the best. But this was literally $2. So it was on special because it's new and they want to get people trying them out. But I couldn't resist trying it because literally the beauty blenders are $30. So I was like, hey, let me give this a go. It feels different than a beauty blender, but I'm really interested and really actually excited to try this out. So I'll try this in a new video very soon. One last thing for my kit, I wanted to get free shipping. Isn't that always the reason why we're always buying more is for free shipping. Um, but in my kit, I use Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, which is a really dewy, glowy sort of on the thicker side moisturizer as a base underneath foundation for all of my clients. Typically in the past, if a client had oily skin, I would just use less of the magic cream because it is like really dewy. The thing with a lot of oily skin is that a lot of times it's happening because of dehydration. So having that extra moisture is good and can actually prevent the skin from getting too dewy. But magic cream does leave a dewy finish and lots of times people with oily skin just don't wanna see any glow whatsoever. So for in that instance, I picked up um, some moisturizer from Ruffer. They said it's reforming and made to go underneath makeup and I got the light version. I was reading on their website that they adjusted it and made some changes based on feedback from their clients, which I thought was really cool. So it's 5% niacinamide, 2% dimethicone, 2% squalene, 1% meadow foam seed oil, hyalocta complex, fragrance-free, essential oil-free for all skin types. So yeah, I'm gonna just open this and see how it feels. Oh, nice. It's really nice, you guys. It feels almost like water. Really, really lightweight. I can definitely feel the dimethicone in there, which is really nice. That helps makeup go on really smooth over top. But yeah, the difference, this has no hydration. This has the hydration. Look at that, look at that glow. But the product has almost completely sunk in there look at the difference that's wild okay i'm really excited can't wait to try this out on a client so i think that that is everything new that i got for the next part of the video i'm going to be moving everything over from this kit right here to my new one I really loved having such a small kit but the zipper is constantly popping open on me and I think the reason for that is that there's just too much stuff in here. It's just jam-packed too full. I have trouble closing it some days and yeah, I needed to upsize a little bit. This one is definitely bigger, but it's not huge. It's a lot deeper and it is a little bit longer as well. It does have the same organizer up here where I store my pencils. It's got a little zipper right here to tuck products in behind. And then we've got the dividers and the separators down in the bottom here. I don't have any plans for this. I don't know how I'm gonna organize everything. So what I'm gonna actually do is put you guys on a time lapse and you can just watch and listen to the nice clicky sounds of the products going in and out. And let's see if we can get everything moved over. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous because it's just like I know where everything is in here anytime I've reorganized this in the past it takes me like a few jobs to get used to having everything in a new space so this just works so perfectly for me so to possibly like mess with that is 
like making me a little bit stressed but i feel like it just has to be this way in order for me to carry the light with me to jobs so yeah let's uh let's start reorganizing Okay, so I was hoping that my brushes would fit in one of these compartments in the bag that's supposed to be for tall things, but they don't fit. One long divider right here means I can't just take like this and this out to make a bigger space. So in order for this setup to work, I'm gonna have to carry my brushes in this bag, which I was not anticipating. It's definitely deep enough and long enough, but now I'm worried I'm not gonna have enough room in here for everything that I need to carry. But let's continue on. It's just so deep. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm liking it, you guys. I just, I feel like it's so much wasted space. Like, I just moved everything from one of my compartments in here into here. And, like, let me show you. Everything is just, like, so deep down in there. I know a lot of people who have this bag put plastic compartments in here to help organize everything. And I'm wondering if maybe that's what I'm going to need to do here because like this is so much wasted space right here <sighs> but I don't have them yet so I'm just gonna keep going and get it as organized as I can for now and we can just continue it as a work in progress as we go I'm just thinking especially for things like my eyeshadow palettes and my powders and my blushes and stuff I just don't think I want to have them loose in this super deep bag like it was nice in here because everything was so tight and compact that everything was kept safe as I was carrying it around. It's just so deep and loose in here. I tried to use these blue shadows on a job recently and they didn't work at all. I think they're just old and expired. So I'm gonna take all of these big square ones out of here. And I'm gonna try and depot this highlighter out of this palette here and put it into here. But that will have to be a task for another day. This is annoying in here. There is a cord which is for this charger. So this bag comes with a USB charger. And I'm guessing this is to charge the battery or something, or I don't know. I literally have no idea what this is for, but it's in the way. Like it's literally inside this pocket, which prevents me from stacking things neatly in there. So that's a bit annoying. Okay, so, so far this is not working. I haven't seen my kit organization from how my kit was organized before. Definitely go and watch that because I don't want to be explaining like too much of everything here, but I emptied this bag 
and this bag, which both came out of the backpack, but there's no room for <laughs> a lot of the stuff that's happening here. So like I was hoping to get these brushes, this, these exfoliating wipes, and all my makeup removers, disinfecting wipes, rhinestones, like all of that, I was hoping to fit in here. I, yeah, that didn't work. I got a lot of stuff in here that I was planning to get in here, alcohol, makeup remover, my moisturizer and lip balm, I got my new moisturizer in here, mascara wands, brush cleaner, setting spray, hand sanitizer, I've got some body makeup in here and some body lotion down there in case anybody needs a little bit of body lotion. I fit some like cotton rounds and eye, under eye patches in here. But yeah, I have this big empty hole here and then I need to figure out how I'm gonna get all of these foundations in, as well as all of my eyeshadows, powders, all of these little tools, and then all of these small guys here. I'm feeling stressed that it's not just an easy transfer of like everything in the small kit into the big kit, but I just wanted everything to move over seamlessly without me having to figure out like a completely new way of reorganizing everything. I also don't want to depot a bunch of stuff. Like I just don't have the patience to sit and like depot 50 of these tiny shadows. And I know for sure that my Charlotte Tilbury blushes will all break if I try to depot them out of their packaging. They're super delicate. So one thing that I do like about this is this little compartment right here. So these big palettes here definitely did not fit in here. I had to have them laying this way or tucked into the back. So I really like that they're all fitting in here nicely. The depth is really working for me there. I got all my concealers and like tall things here. So like my cream contour and highlight, my mascaras and all my concealers are nice and tall. So they fit in this section right here standing up and it's nice because I can see the shades and just grab them from there. I also got my pencils all put in here. So I've got my lip liners, eyeliners, brow gels, and brow pencils. I did put these in here, but this is not a good space for them because they're not tight. These are the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundations. So yes, I'm gonna have some rethinking to do. I'm thinking I might not be able to use this in its backpack form, and I might have to carry it in one hand with my backpack on my back and my light in my other hand, which is not ideal. I really wanted a free hand but then I don't need this at all if I'm doing that. So I'm gonna need a little bit of time here. I'm gonna need a trip to a container store so I can look around at the containers and see if there's a better way of organizing inside here. Yeah, I'm really not sure. I really thought this was gonna be like a one day, one and done, just move everything over video, but apparently that is not the case. So I'm gonna have a little think about this. Tomorrow we might take a little trip to the store and then come back and see if we can't figure out a better way to do this. Mm -hmm. 